Well, our big story is going to be the chill that is on the way. Looking ahead to the week of Christmas, leading up to Christmas, in fact, it is going to be colder than normal. And look how much that covers. So if you're traveling to Texas, anywhere in the southeast and up to the northeast, it's all looking to be quite frigid. So uh, that cold air will follow you unless you go all the way out west uh, next week, especially late next week. First alert radar, it's all clear right now. Aren't we happy about that? Uh, snow to the north of us and we'll keep it north of us at least through late next week and then we're watching a system that could bring some rain and snow to the area but there's still a lot of question marks with it but it's going to come with a lot of cold air too tonight plenty cold at 32 degrees in the upstate in the mountains right at 27 with just a few clouds and then tomorrow afternoon it'll be breezy so it may feel a little bit cooler than these temperatures with 40s to low 50s on the way we're tracking those winds in the morning it'll be just a little bit on the breezy side but turns gusty into the afternoon uh, so around three four uh, if you're maybe getting ready to head to a Christmas party just know that this wind could mess with your hairdo and it could make it feel awfully chilly outside and then those winds will slow subside as we get into Saturday evening. So Sunday should be a little, little bit less breezy. So let's get back to that next big thing. Big chill. Uh, here's what we do know at this point. Models have been very consistent with bringing potentially record breaking cold and this would be for Christmas Eve morning. Single digits potentially teens. That is some extremely cold air and we could even have some wind along with it. So brace yourself for a major chill. Now the big question mark is could we see some snow now right now? I'd say even for the mountains and the upstate, we're giving it about a slight chance since we have the cold air in place. Models are playing around with some moisture, but certainly not all agreeing on it. But we'll let you know if we notch this a little bit higher. But as we get more information through the weekend, we may see it look more possible or it may end up looking more dry or like just a cold rain. And we've got a lot of time to watch this. As you know, if you've lived here for a while uh, with snow systems, any kind of winter weather systems, so much can change over just a couple days time when it comes to our model data and information. So uh, you're watching this with caution. We will keep you posted. It's our first alert promise to you and we'll let you know if Thursday into Thursday night could bring uh, some snow for the upstate or any winter weather that could be hazardous. Right now, it does look like a few showers will at least be possible and maybe a couple snowflakes mixed in, but then extreme cold settles in for Friday. Look at a high of just 33 degrees. In the mountains, mostly sunny Saturday and Sunday, and then we'll be looking ahead to sunshine and a chance for rain and snow by Thursday. Of course, you can download the First Alert Weather app. This is a great reason to have it. When we have a forecast that could bring some snow to parts of our area next week, we'll keep you posted through the app. Scan the QR code on your screen and you get exclusive videos from your First Alert Weather team keeping you posted on how that forecast evolves.